as well today I will be showing you my authentic collection my authentic bag collection so if you like these types of videos where I unbox authenticity from twin items I DIY compare bags and do review on bags plus more like show you my authentic bag collection then please like and subscribe and just hit that bell and if you want to talk fashion stuff then DM me on my Instagram at TCP underscore luxury I know people have been requesting for me to create content on my bags and I have a lot of bags. I got evil twin bags and I got authentic bags. Nevertheless, there's a lot of bags so I'm gonna split this video into two parts but because I started off authentic we are going to go through my authentic bag collection because they're real. I swear to god they're real. You can even ask the person closest to me if they're real. <sighs> are my stuff, are my bags fake or real? Some are fake, some are real. Oh, are you telling the truth? Of course I'm telling the truth. It comes out of my account. Oh my. Without further ado, because everybody says that on YouTube, apparently. Let's start. So most of my authentic bags are on the top. Some are not displayed because this room is too small for my collection. Do I feel guilty about it? Kind of. But if I'm not thinking about what you guys think, then I don't care. I'm kind of a maximalist. These are my collections, these are like my art pieces, and hopefully one day my luxury room will be a lot more bigger. I think twice or three times bigger than what I have now, but this is the smallest room and this is the room I'm assigned. Really because it's too small, it's not fair! To have fun. Imagine me in a small room having fun, it's insane. Oh, before I get started, I purchased these free people sunglasses. Let me show you. I know they're dirty. Um, they're dirty, aren't they? But they're so freaking adorable. It's authentic day, so why not? I'll link this below. They're so pretty. They have different colors. I'm probably gonna get more colors because they got black and blue and pink and... Okay, let's get started. First bag. This is my pre-loved authentic Prada bag. Safiano bag it is adorable and yeah my first love Prada hello camera I'm here Prada next up so this is my other Prada bag it's a Kaye line or design whatever and I love this bag it, it has two types of straps one for like you know a waist belt moment and then a crossbody moment. So that is number two. I'm not gonna count, so this I'm just saying number two and three and then I'll okay anyway, next up. So this is my oh my god, there's like this is my beautiful vintage Gucci or spit bag. I love the double G's on this. You see the straps I had to remove. I did keep it, but I do have another strap that I use just because the old strap was horribly messed up. I do have inserts in here. So this beautiful bag is so beautiful. Next up, this is my Gucci Lionhead bag. I purchased it pre-loved, I think on Fashion File. I purchased most of my authentic pre-loved bags from Fashion File and this bag is very useful and great for fall. You gotta love that lion. It's a very roomy bag. I won't go in too much into it. If you want to see more about these bags, then go to my unboxing videos. Here's another 
Gucci lion head bag. This is the Rebel, R-E-B-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. I love that bag, the straps inside. This is my other authentic bag. I absolutely love this. Wait for the fall. I like these kind of colors. It's kind of odd. This was a purchase from Nordstrom. My Gucci padlock bag with the bees and stars. I absolutely love it. Now, do I have any pros and cons? This is not about pros and cons. It's about showing you my collection. And this is my very first authentic super mini Gucci bag. So cute. This little bear is not authentic, but it's cute. It was like made in Turkey or something. But this is my super mini. And obviously this is my loved bag. I absolutely love it. I get nervous using my authentic one. So I have an evil twin, which I use in abuse rather than this lovely, but this is so beautiful. It's in great condition. I'm in love with it. It has the heart in the back, but I got the foam back here because you don't want to ruin your velvet bags with chain imprints. So let's look at another bag. My, could you tell that I love the Marmont collection? This is my Marmont velvet blue bag that I purchased pre-loved. It had a lot of um, pressure marks, which I resolved. And again, you want to put something behind, if you display this, you wanna put something behind the chain and the velvet because you'll get pressure marks and then you'll be upset with all those pressure marks. Like I'm starting to get a little bit of pressure marks on the top, I think, but not as bad. And I love this bag. This is my wonderful silk Marmont bag. It's another authentic piece of mine. Uh, the silk bags, you don't have to worry about pressure marks because it is not velvet. And this is a beauty. My vintage, authentic Chanel bag. I love it because it's not like the typical, you know, flap bag. Everyone has a classic flap. It's kind of reminding me of Neverfull bags now. It's almost like you, everyone has the classic flap. And this is different because it has 24 karat, 24 karat gold plated w -C double C -C w double C -C -C's. And yeah, I, I really love this because I mean, it's in great condition. Um, the double C's are beautiful. Can't, can't knock this bag. I just love it. And my Dolce & Gabbana. Devotion bag. I bought this from the site. It was on sale. I was kind of shocked that it was on sale. The pink one sold out, so I ended up getting the black because why not? They're both really beautiful. And it is a small bag. I love small bags, but this one's pretty small. <laughs> this is my Clooney BB, my Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Clooney BB bag. I don't know. I still love it. I don't use it as often. Oh my god, that kind of scared me. I thought it was like folded in, freaked me out. Really beautiful condition because I only use it like maybe four or five times. Kind of gravitate towards my Gucci. Ugh. My Clooney BB. Another Marmont bag. Are we surprised at this point? But this one is a wallet on chain. Uh, wallet on a chain. The back has the double G's, not the heart. Because the Marmonts have hearts. The classic style ones I have have hearts and I'm sorry for not showing the back of the velvet ones. But yeah. Let's move on. This is my Gucci bag. I forget what model this is, but it's so cute. Um, someone made this and I purchased it. I was a little hesitant. Well, I am hesitant to buy more because the crystals just fall out and I had to glue them myself. Um, but this is a beautiful bag. I love it. I don't use it enough. And this one's very similar. This is my tiger bag. This thing is so gorgeous. Does have a heart. This is one of my favorite authentic Gucci like art pieces, which I will use when I go to Beverly Hills or something. I don't know, it's just so pretty. My hair. My Dionysus bag. I absolutely love this Dionysus bag. It is 
think it's 2017 collection, but it's so beautiful. Again, this is like an art piece to me. I love art piece style bags. My authentic bags are very special to me, especially the ones that are unique, like this one. And this one's hard to crossbody. You can't really crossbody it because this chain is so short. Too short. Here is a clutch bag. I purchased pre-loved on Fashion File. The tiger. This is my husband's sign. I'm a dragon. But this is so pretty. It did have like a an issue here, but whatever. I love this bag. At least the issues in the back. So this is another special edition. Oh my god, so loud art piece of mine. It's a Gucci clutch bag. Let's see. Has all the crystals. Oops. Oh, my bracelet fell. So this is my Mary. Oh. Sorry, I just had it wrapped up. This is my Bulgari Mary Kachansu bag. Authentic. Purchased from the store. I love this bag. It is so unique and beautiful. I've used it twice already. It's just because it's cream. I get nervous of color transfer, especially if you pay 3K for it. <gasps> this you haven't seen enough of is my Ophidia Gucci bag. I love it. Actually, it matches me right now. Oh my God. Let's just leave it on. And I shortened the strap because it was too long. Put it right under. It's so cute. I think I just wore this bag today. So this is my other authentic Dionysus bag with all the crystals. And because this is a newer model, I know I have the foam on. <laughs> the chain is crossbody wearable. Yes! Finally, Gucci. But yeah, I think that's it. This is my whole collection. I do have two backpacks that are authentic. One is my husband's and one is mine. I do have a lot of stuff. So if I'm missing an authentic bag in my collection, my apologies. <laughs> I'm looking around my room because I'm trying to figure out, oh, well, might as well show. I think I found my husband's backpack. Actually, this is mine. My husband's backpack is tucked away somewhere in a bunch of boxes on top of the armoire. But there is another bag, hold on. After this one, let me just show this to you. This is, um, I think it's 2018-ish. Don't quote me on that, but this is a beautiful backpack. I am rehoming it. I, I bought it on Poshmark. I Posh, oh my God. I bought it on Poshmark and it's time for me to rehome it. I used it once and it's beautiful. Here's the last bag. Yes, another authentic Gucci bag. Do I need more Gucci? Don't say no. I absolutely love the crystals on this Marmont bag. And of course, because of that. I'm the ultimate cat lady. I love this bag. It is beautiful. It's so cute. And I think you can wear this. For me, I can wear this now because it's fall and the colors are very fallish and spring and summer. The ears, everything is of leather. These are prints. This is Balenciaga. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed my bag collection, my authentic bag collection. This is part one. Part two will be my evil twin bag collection, which will be a lot more than this. That's gonna be insane. <laughs> I feel like I miss an authentic bag, but I'm probably, if I do, my apologies. Have a wonderful day, everybody, and talk to you soon. Bye.